Hey guys, Nick here with The Pickler. So I've been watching many videos on pickleball rages, but you know what I've always wondered? Why does no one even consider the paddle's feelings or what it's going through? So that's why we're here with this video to show you what happens when your paddle encounters pickleball rage. Before we get into this video, just do keep in mind I am a professional pickleball player, but most importantly, I am a professional rager. So make sure you're not trying this at your local park. So the most common form of rage I saw was the gentle paddle toss. Good game, man. So this is what happens after you chuck your paddle. So as you can see, there's a little marks all over the side, a little bit of scuffs, not too much, maybe a little nick on the paddle. Handle held up pretty well, maybe a little, little bumps and bruises on it. But overall, it actually held up really well. So the different forms of rage, it's not all bad. There's also ways that we can celebrate too. That's why this next shot, we're gonna do the Tyson McGuffin celebration. Review time. Probably not the smartest celebration to do, as you can tell. Very bad damage, a little bit of chip right here. Edge guard is just completely destroyed. I mean, this is probably not gonna be a paddle you wanna use again in the future. So make sure if you're doing this celebration, always have two paddles at the park with you. So the next form of rage we're gonna do is called the paddle smash. This is another common one I was seeing online. So let's test this one out. So easy! Uh-oh. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so reviewing this paddle here, as you can tell, major, major damage. If you are not the Ernie King like Loon himself, this is probably what's gonna result. As you can see, lots of damage. I mean, you can almost even see the inside of it. Overall, this is a very, very bad thing to do on the court. So for the next form of rage, we actually have this in three variations. We have the fence huck, the wall huck, and lastly, the crowd huck. The uh, show guidelines, we're not allowed to show the crowd huck. So stupid. As you can see, this paddle is pretty much indestructible when it comes to the fence. Maybe a little scuffs and nicks, maybe a little bit around, but overall, very, very little damage. So now we're here with the second variation, the wall hug. So let's see this in action right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, again? Okay, as you could tell, kind of got a little over the top after seeing the thing it did with the fence. So a little bit better. So as you can see here, a lot, lot more damage. I mean, completely obliterated this over here. It honestly looks like there's confetti on the court now. So overall, wall's a lot more sturdier than a fence and is gonna cause way more damage to your paddle. Alrighty guys, so for our final form of rage, we have the knee jerk reaction. This occurs after many hours of pickleball, things aren't going your way, and you know at the end of this game, this paddle is not coming home with you. So let's see it in action. Good game, man. As you can see, I have a very sturdy handle, but in terms of it being one piece, that is uh, not the case anymore. Completely snapped in half. Luckily, I was wearing my stack shorts, so there was no damage to the knee, only damage to the paddle. So in conclusion, our scientific studies show that when the paddle lands on the face or into the fence, it most likely will be okay, but right when it hits an edge or is thrown really hard, it is most likely gonna shatter. That's it for this video. If you wanna see more things like this, comment below on what kind of review you wanna see. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the course.